Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. We are a pirate and we are in prison. Uh, basically what we're going to do now is we are going to become King Pirate, Lord of all pirates. And the reason we're doing that is so that we can have some duchy titles, these High Lordships. And we would like to create the High Lordship of the Southern Stepstones, which is de jure these three provinces. There you go, created it. And the reason we're doing that is so that we can then, uh, we want to give it away to one of these vassals, the one who likes us the most. So, actually we can create a new, we can get a new vassal in there, which is even better because he'll like us even more. So we want a man who is my religion and my culture and is not a ruler, who is not married, who is not in prison, who is an adult and is not in a great house. Okay. And we want to choose someone who's fairly young. Um, maybe Illyrio, Quartermaster of Sunstone. He could be a good choice. He's pirate. He's just. He's shy. Okay. We're choosing him. What's this one? Master Seducer. Hmm. Uh, so Illyrio, we're going to make you Lord of... Which one is this? Torturer's Deep. So now we can give the Lord of Torturers Deep. We will grant him the High Lordship of the Southern Stepstones. He is now our most loyal vassal because he loves us because we gave him all these uh, things. We will now start giving him land, like these bits of land here. So like Lotus Valley. We'll start transferring vassals. I think we can do that. We would like to transfer. Not Dark Den. Wait, where's Dark Den? No. Um, like saying stones. Yes. I would then like to transfer this guy. Basically, we're going to put all of this under him. So we're going to have no more trouble because all of this is going to be under him. We can also then raise their levies up in the north because um, they'll all raise in his province. So teleporting troops, basically. Do we go transfer vassalage of this person? Transfer vassalage of... Are we done? I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. So all of this, actually, if we check our vassals, will be Sun Stepstones. Sun Stepstones. Uh, you are under Sun Stepstones. You are under Sun Stepstones. Yeah, cool. And the reason why this guy here will never rebel is because he has so many... Po like, he's got 180 positive from vassal transfer. So, if we check our faction, see? He is now in... Wait, that's not him. But yeah, he loves us. He'll probably join that faction. Uh, okay, so what are we going to do now? We have about 600... Wait, do we have some men raised or something? I guess not. I guess the men we could have raised were here. We can check. No, we have no men raised. So we're going to have to wait for our men to reinforce a little bit. Just want to check. Did he join that faction? No, he didn't. Okay. Weird. Still not entirely sure how that works. But we're basically going to sit here and wait for our armies to reinforce a little bit. There we go. 4,000 men from this vassal. Right here. That'll be one vassal. I'm fairly certain. Maybe it's all of them. And he joined Liege Loyalists. Maybe that's what... Maybe that gives them... Like, that allows them... Gives them increased vassals or something? I need to look up that mechanic. So, just for uh, fun, if we were to raise his levy, we get 3,000 men just from him. Made a Tyros Sham now? 7,000. Oh, we lost our chance at attacking them ages ago, didn't we? So, who do we want to attack? We we need to expand. We need to constantly expand, but who? Uh, the, these are all not actual places. How about you? 9,000. Yeah, we need to go south again, I think. So if we take somewhere with like Last Lament again, do we have a truce? Um, we must not be imprisoned. Oh yeah, I thought you could declare war while you're imprisoned. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, you can declare war while you have a regency, just not while you're imprisoned, I guess. Um, well yeah, I guess we have to get our money back. So we'll raise our vassal levy here. Like we'll raise this one vassal's levy. We'll then raise his... Well, we might as well raise his boats as well. And we'll go off raiding. Right, to get on. 
And now we have a reasonable sized army, we can start sieging some... Ba like, we can actually start sieging down some prop... like, properly sieging down provinces. Um. Okay. What do we want to do? We could just go right here. Like, right next door. Siege. We could try and siege some of these bits. Yeah, so let's siege... Uh, actually, who are Lee's at war with? That's a better idea. Who are Lee's at war with? Mitosh. Wow, that's a very small person you're at war with. Um, I don't really care about them. Uh, who's the other one? I want people who are big. Peasants revolt. Ah, oh well. I was hoping he was at war with someone like Volantis, and then we could start. Uh, we could uh, get into more valuable provinces. Okay, just want to check in this river here. Like, yeah, there is nobody, like, there's no army nearby. So we can drop our men on the capital and be fairly safe. Is that the best place to siege? Oh no, this is the best place to siege. And you're independent, so you're probably not going to get any uh, help. Perfect. Let's start sieging down this province. If we see any armies nearby, we will, of course, uh, run. I don't see any armies nearby, though. Uh, how am I going to educate my daughter? Uh, numbers uh, will pay a reasonable amount. That is the problem with having a lot of children. Right. Uh, we probably want to keep sieging on this province, actually. So that we can get, uh, like, some slaves, perhaps. that They sell pretty well as things go. Oh, that small pirate fleet? Very small pirate fleet. Oh, it looks like that's one of our vassals. Perfect. As that might not be perfect if we're going to plan to uh, go up here and take some money from up here. Uh, Mario is no longer priest for us. Your priest while performing charity work was killed. Okay. Well, we'll get a new priest. Um, this one. And she can perform charity work. Fine. I'm not really too bothered. Keep sieging down the province. Keep sieging down the province. Need lots of slaves and we're going to sell them all. Need the money. We are desperately in need of money. Uh, siege has taken a long time. It's probably got reasonable defences. We could siege the whole thing as well. Like, we can keep sieging. No reason to stop once we take the top level holding. Ooh, Lantis has been looted of 205 uh, gold. How much can we hold? Oh, well, we can only hold up to 500, so... Yeah, we might as well keep sieging. As we'll be on the next place now. That's a lot of money we just got there. This is great. Uh, another daughter? Uh, she can be good at numbers. I want her to be successful. You've almost got enough to pay for a ransom. Which is funny, because we're paying off a ransom for an anti-piracy uh, war with piracy. Money has been disappearing from the treasury. I suspect my legent. My regent. Legent? What's le... What is that? Anyway, keep sieging. Oh, I'm so going to enjoy not being in prison. Righteously imprison Denya. Why would we want to righteously imprison Denya? She wants to replace someone as paymaster? I don't really care. Nobody's got like kill me, do they? No. Nope. Yeah, they're still trying to rescue uh, me. This is quite nice though. Very loyal vassals. I wonder what they want out of it. Uh, cold winds are rising in the east. White walkers have been seen. Yeah. How are they doing, anyway? Oh, they're, they've won against the wall. That's a uh, surprise. Like, they won against the first slit of the wall. Oh, they're actually taking over the Night's Watch as well. Oh, okay. Cool. They took over Castle Black. Uh, white walkers might be a big problem. Are we going to have to be the pirates that fight off the white walkers? That could be fun. Yeah. They're literally a pirate invasion of winter. Uh, almost won this war here. Would that subjugate the winter people? There's probably something in there to stop that happening. 
And cool. We got another 29 gold there. Next siege. Luckily we can just check here instantly how much gold it has. Yeah, we got about 300 gold just waiting there on the boats. If we were extremely confident, we could take this fleet, we could move them all the way back home. Like, you know, hand in our gold and come back. But I'm not that confident that he has no allies ever. Maybe once we're free, we'll just declare war on him and take it. I mean, that's probably a tempting fate with, uh, you know, Volantis, but... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, we're ill. That's not good. We don't want to be ill and imprisoned. Uh, I think we have to we have to back out now because we need to desperately get rid of the uh, negative health from being imprisoned. Come on, get back, get back, get back. Ooh, lots of gold. I would like to pay for my release, Miss uh, Quarreler. No, she doesn't like me. <sighs> okay. Well, I need a new heir then, because uh, our current heirs are not good enough. Like, none of these heirs are good enough. Ugh, okay. How would it, like, is there a way of choosing an heir? No. Uh, other sons likely to intervene, rescue dynasty approves, women can inherit but only if they're not eligible males. Nope, doesn't tell you how you can get it done. Maybe you're just fine. You, you're just fine. Uh, I guess we're going back to raiding. Get back on the boats. We'll head back to uh, Volantis. It's a good raiding spot. Lots of money as well. Like, an awful lot of money. Uh, oh, you're going to let me... Yes. Fantastic. We're free. Get back. We're no longer raiding. The regency has ended. We, we are completely free of being imprisoned. Okay. New character focus. Uh, we're going to choose family because we need new heirs. That increases our fertility and also give, gives us some health. Dismiss all of our vassal levies. We are going to declare war on Volantis right now. Why can we not declare war? We don't have a valid Cassus Belly? Pirate? Invasion? Is that not a valid cast of spelling? Do we need to wait a day? Uh, yeah, we should have pirate invasion cast spelling against you. There we go, pirate invasion of Volantis. Done. Uh, we will raise up probably just this same army actually. Get on the boats. We're heading over to Volantis. They might actually be able to put up a defense. I just realized, how many men do they have? Oh, neat. 8.121k. Oops. Uh, my bad. Luckily. Oh, wait, what are they doing? That means that they're sending 1k over at a time? Can we win this war really by, by killing 1k troops at a time? That'd be great. Yeah, we can win this war by just killing 1k troops at a time. Ah, uh, uh, brilliant, brilliant. Right, Harlan on the flank. Then Fergo on the flank. There we go. And we can then go and kill his army. Yeah, okay, perhaps I should have checked how many men they had. It's, it said they only had 800 men originally. I'm sure it said only 800. Uh, yeah, it's actually fighting one of our vassals. It's quite funny. We'll just win this fight. And we'll win the next fight. How many men do we have ourselves? Only 181? Hmm. Right, get, get back on these boats. So if he sent 4,000 over, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly get on the boats. We're going to rush over to Volantis. And we're going to try and get that uh, like the capital province. Oh, is he sending more over? I think he's sending more over. Wanted to be good with numbers. Uh, best possible stuff. Yeah, he sent all of his troops over by boat. Uh, what do you want? You want the High Lordship of the Western Stepstones. Do we have that? 
Oh, um, no. Sorry, you can't have it. Uh, that's the thing that allows us to kind of glitch out the pirate invasion. Okay, he's declared war on us, that's fine. <laughs> no, but no big deal. So we should be able to siege down these places quite quickly because we've already sieged them. Which will give us a lot of war score, hopefully. That's my that's my hope. Yeah, we can assault down now. Good. Uh, demand important prisoners. We didn't get any really good ones, but we do have some people that we can sell into slavery. Not le the selling of slaves is not legal in the Stepstones. Um. Okay, we'll vote on it. Cool. Now it's legal. Um, I would like to uh, sell as slave. Does not have the trait in hiding. He's in hiding. How can you have the trait in hiding? We have you captured. Um. What? That's the same for all of them. We could ins we can take her as assault wife though. There's one. Uh, we can. Uh, cannot sell you into slavery. Are you all in hiding? They're all in hiding. Yeah, they're just hiding in my. Uh, they're currently just all hiding in. Um, what's it called? Yeah, all hiding in my prisons. That's what they're doing. They're all just hiding, huddled up. We won the war, by the way. I'd like to know. Three, two, one. We won the war. He is now our vassal. He's a pretty strong va- Well, he, he was a pretty strong vassal to lost all these troops. We now have some uh, things we could declare. Like, for him. But we're not going to. Right. Uh, we can disband the troops here, actually, I think. Yeah. Uh, we can also disband our boats here. Very nice. That was a good war. Right. Uh, do we want to put this guy under... I think we want to put this guy under the awesome army guy. Like this guy. Right, you shall have a new vassal. You shall have, um, where is it? Orbello of Volantis. Good, good. Uh, anyone want to marry my heir yet? We can actually get some uh, courtiers here. Uh, well, I don't want to. A man, good. Well, we can check what she needs. She needs to have either marshal. So probably a man, good with words. Like either martial or diplomacy, so. Um, wait. Previous message? Nope, nope. Oh, we've also got some people. We sh we can't sell these guys into pris uh, slavery, can we? Because they are, uh... Yeah, it would give us tyranny. Hmm. Okay. We'll ransom them. Uh, ra can't slave him. We could try ransoming, ransoming him. Oh, we can't ransom him. Oh, I guess because we're already ransoming for someone else. Uh, we didn't actually get this courtier. Oh, uh, maybe it's not arrived yet. Um, like we, re I'm sure we could have someone who would marry our daughter, right? Men who, like, why could this person not marry our daughter? Is there something wrong with her? Oh, she's in hiding! Oh! We need to call them out hiding. Why can't we do that? We're not at peace. Oh, okay. I actually didn't notice that we still had that army. I'd forgotten entirely about them. Uh, get on the boats. I say, get off the boats. <laughs> I know I just told you to get on the boats, but uh, I think that they're about to drop some men off. Right, we'll wait for our morale to head up. Hunted dog ran away and went roaming around the castle. He was very aggressive, chasing several servants and ended up fleeing in terror. He then came upon the favourite dog of one of your courtiers, attacked and killed it. Unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, that is his army. Those 12 men. That, that is an army. I thought that those were boats. I, I, I could actually think of an army that small. Come on, keep chasing. We'll catch him. We have organizer. Uh, someone's compla complaining about a dark cell. Well, how about we... we no one wants to buy you. Uh, we'll ransom 
the other one. There we go, 26 gold. Not bad. Time to uh, win this war. Okay, who actually declared war on us? Uh, you are Last Lament. Okay, I know where you are. You're right here. Uh, yes, he accepted our ransom. And the last person, we can't enslave, so we'll just release. Done. We're actually almost in a good position, which is great. And really surprising, given the last couple of episodes. Right, we'll land our 6,000 men. I really like our vassal that's just extremely strong. We have 10, time the me 10 times the men. We could assault. Uh, I'm fine with assaulting, actually. Uh, our family's not going in hiding. We're going to assault. Right. 48% demand important prisoners. Oh, great. We got some prisoners. Salt wife, definitely. Uh, slavery. And salt wife. Done. Fine, someone will be interested. There you go, 15 gold. Next province. Almost there. Ugh, we don't have quite enough to uh, assault down here. We could go... If this is also at war with us, yeah, we can just go to this province. That work out. We can assault this one down. Uh, very soon, we can assault this one down. They have some spe they have some war element elephants here. That's weird. Wait for our morale to get to full, then we'll assault. There we go. Assault. Done. Do you want to white piece this? Yeah, sure. I'll take white piece. This is our land. We can disband. Uh, we can disband our troops here. Cool. Can we now declare war on him? I think we can. We need to wait a couple of days, but then I think we can declare war. Maybe you have to wait a month? I'm just waiting for the uh, reason to declare war to come back. There we go. We can declare war on him. Declare war. Pirate invasion of Last Lament. And the best thing is, we can now use teleporting troops to get 6,000 troops right next to his capital. Ah, uh, teleporting troops are fantastic. And we'll just walk him in. We do have a little bit of a morale issue. But that'll be solved any day now. Cool. Just let that uh, build up. I mean, if he's not going to attack us while we have low morale, we might as well just, like, you know, let it let it be. Uh, assault down. Yep. Uh, demand important prisoners. Oh yeah, we got some new new people. Slavery, definitely. Find somebody who will. Find somebody who will. Find somebody who will. Yes, keep trying to find somebody. Wealthy slavers. Ah, 15 gold. Good. You, we will take as a salt wife. You, we will sell into slavery. 15 gold. Good. You, we will sell into slavery. Okay. Right, find somebody who will. 15 gold. Good. Ah, it's so nice to get revenge on these people for attacking us. Build his army. Now we want to just head around here and kill the other army. Which we have done. Good. 100% war score because he has no army. No holdings. Uh, enforced demand. Right, now we want to put him... Wait, is this a duchy level title? It's a high lordship. Damn. We, we need to put him under a kingdom if we were going to do that. We can call our court out of hiding now. Which now means that we can finally get our daughter a marriage. Uh, right. Oh, and she gets... She's almost at the right amount of points that she's fine. I think if we were to marry her matrilineally... To somebody who has really high... Ma uh, like, diplomacy? That's going to give her enough diplomacy that she can be fine. I think that's how it works. We'll marry him. We'll marry her to the master seducer. Over here. 
There we go. Done. That should make our heir legitimate. Like, as in someone who can inherit. Uh, I just want it to say yes. Um, uh, my lord, my vassal, Lord Qual Quo, has requested that Lord Jerocom of Headstone should be sworn to him rather than me directly. Who? That Lord um, Jarrow. Um, who is he? Oh, he controls the island? Uh, let me think. Denied. Yeah, I like that. Cool. The marriage went well. A customary for um, paid, someone to be paid to the groom's house, obviously. He's not going to do it. You have a new vassal, mister. You are going to be... We have no vassals we can give him? Oh, I wanted to give him this vassal. Meh. Uh, whatever. Hold a wedding feast. Definitely going to hold a wedding feast. And then I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. We are actually in a really good position. We're about to go and take a lot of land. We have our teleporting troops of 6,000 stack that we can just bring anywhere. And it's going to go pretty well. I'll see you then. Goodbye.